Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakah Kodash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honor unto my apostles of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and to the sincere and Shalom to the sincere, sincere Ikim, the brothers that are pushing this word. In this, in truth and sincerity, throughout the four winds of the world, risking their lives and freedom to do so to you, I say, Shalom. Remember, this is a spiritual fight, okay? And I'm bringing this lesson out. I'm pretty sure I've done a lesson similar to this before, but you know, we're living in these last days where things are happening, and you know, Jake, you know, as Israelites, we get emotional, all right, but we got to keep our emotions in check, you know, coming into these trying times. OK, you got to understand. That, yes, of course, we want to put our hands on these devils. We want to put our hands on these two third niggas. OK, but it's a spiritual fight. All right. It, it, everything is spiritual. Everything that takes place is a spirit uh, 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 in you. And it's a spirit in, you know, the, the person or the situation that that's trying to draw. A, a, it's, a, it's a demon trying to draw you away from the spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of your high body, the spirit of prophecy. All right. That's what we need to. That's what we must remain in to make it through these times, because if you're carnal in these last days, and you're carnal and want to get carnal with Esau. You you give it in to the serpent. You give it in to the devil. All right. You give it in to what he wants you to do. He wants this devil wants to bring you into his arena where you, you don't got to You don't stand a chance. But as long as we say spiritual, as long as we trust and and put our faith in how about Shema Shai, this devil can't this devil can't mess with us. OK. So that that's, you have to keep these things in mind. You have to keep these scriptures in mind. You have to keep these, uh, uh, um, the these scriptures of our forefathers when they went through uh, specific things where they may have wanted to get carnal. You think Moses didn't want to get carnal with them wicked ass niggas in in the wilderness? Okay. You you think that you know uh, the prophets of old Isaiah, Jeremiah, uh, Ezekiel, Habakkuk they didn't want to get carnal with Jake out there because Jake just won't want to get right. Jake would scoff. Think about you how was shot. You know, they they try spat on your Howard Shai. They they uh they lied on him. They they try to throw him off a, a a cliff. They try to stone him. All these things, and he and he had the power to 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 to, to wipe out these niggas. But our Lord stayed in the spirit. That's how we got to be. We have to be. We're not going to be like Howard Shai. We have to be like unto him. All right, by staying spiritual, by by be, by seeing everything with a spiritual eye. Like you know, this niggas. You know, you, something happens, and you, you got to think like, yo, this niggas trying to take me out the spirit. This niggas trying to bring me to his level. So I can, you know, whoop whoop his ass and then, you know, I'm in trouble with the law. Or or whatever the situation may be, you're just gonna worsen the situation. And sometimes, you know, the apostles have been going into this, you gotta take the L. You gotta take the L sometimes. More more more, more than once. All right, because at the end of the day, we're gonna get that win. We're gonna get the dub, okay? Well, when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, when 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 he does the fighting for us. All right. So let me just hop into some quick scriptures. This is Ephesians chapter six and verse ten. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right, we're, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stand against the wiles of the devil because the devil's coming down with great wrath and they're trying to throw any and everything they can at us. All right, these demons know how to try to take you out of the spirit. Okay, they know what buttons to push. All right, therefore, you have to fight these demons and you fight these demons through fasting. You fight these demons by calling on the names of your Bashim Yahweh Shai by praying. All right, that's how you fight these demons. All right, so you, you ask the Lord for help. You ask the Lord to assist you, to guide you through your day. All right, that you may make it back to your 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 your, uh, your place of, uh, of rest, your residence, your home safely. Okay, you that, that the Lord that the Lord um the Lord shield you from all this all the wickedness in this world, all, all the things that are you know in this world. Okay, verse twelve, the point. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, all right? Not car, not, 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 it's not the people, it's not the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? Those are demons. Those are spirits out there that's trying to take you out of the spirit, all right? That, 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 and not necessarily could be a person. It could be, uh, um, you know, how you're watching a lesson, and it could be a suggested video on the side to take, the, to make you click on that and get off of the lesson that you're looking at. All right, there's so much distractions and wickedness in this world. There's wickedness all around us. So we gotta be, we gotta have tunnel vision 
on this truth, on the, on, you know, on, on prophecy, all right, on, on doing the will and the work of Yahweh Shai, how we may please him, and everything else is just bullshit. Everything else don't really matter. It doesn't, besides the prophecies, all right, in your life. And of course, we have things that we do in our, in our, in our personal lives, but at the end of the day, if that shit don't work out, if it does work out, so what? It don't matter, all right, because our main focus should be on this truth, on prophecy, on salvation, all right? Um, let me grab this, First uh, Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. It reads, fight the good fight of faith, all right? Not a physical fight, all right? This is a fight of faith, all right? Fight of temptation, all right? Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, okay? Hold fat, hold on to eternal life. What is eternal life? Eternal life is salvation, all right? And we have the keys to salvation. We just have to endure until the end, all right? We have the way, you know, the, the, the brothers that have the spirit, all right? You few sisters out there that 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 uh, uh, fear the heavenly father, that, that follow his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, the one-third, the, the, the help, the, you know, the, 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 the help, um, the uh, um, helps of the prophets, all right, those that may not be teachers that, but that, that, that are believers, hey, we have the keys to salvation, all right, it says, hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, all right, um, let me grab this in uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 3. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Haobashim Yahushai to the pulling down of strongholds, all right? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This is not uh, something that could physically uh, uh, hurt you, harm you, but these words can. The scripture says right here, um, is it Hebrews 4, 4 or 5? Um, let me see. Yeah, 12, 4, 12. The words of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder to the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So these, these words, these words cut, these words hit, okay? But at the same time, that's what we use. That's that's our weapon, our words, all right? Our words that through the spirit of Yahweh Shai will wake up the elect. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll uh, we'll really spiritually cut our enemies, our, our, our two thirds of our people and these Edomites when they hear this word come out and they're condemned. All right. That's what that's what hurts. That That's the real, you know, because you could, uh, you know, you beat up an Edomite. They can heal from their wounds. OK, but you tell the Edomite that they're going to be destroyed. All right. There's no salvation for them. The Most High hates them. They're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right. And they're going into hardcore slavery for a thousand years. That cuts because there's nothing they can do about it because it's prophecy. All right. Those are the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay. Then when the Heavenly Father speaks, he's going to be made good on his word. All right. Verse four. Um, let me see. Verse five, back in uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing into, into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Okay. So c- casting down, all, you know, you have casting down all the imaginations, everything that exalts itself against the Heavenly Father. And, and and that's everything in this world. Okay? So everything in this world it pretty much is against the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? So we have to cast that cast that out of our mind, out of our thoughts. All right? We have to hold fast into this truth. All right? Stay, stay, um, stay grounded. All right? And continue to endure. Let me grab this scripture in, in Sirach. Show you that, that, that there's a the most high is all about balance. There's good and there's evil. All right. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're the wicked and there's the righteous. All right. And, and they're set up against one another. This is uh, Sirach chapter 33. Now I'm going to just straight to the point. Verse 10. Um, all men are from the ground and Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge, the Lord have divided them and made their ways diverse. Some have he exalted, excuse me, some have he blessed and exalted and some have he sanctified and said near himself, but them but some of them he hath cursed and brought low and turned out of their place as clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it fashion it at his pleasure so is so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as liketh him best 
Good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So that's the, that's the that's the balance right there. Okay, so you're not you know it, it's, it's it's it was set up from the heavenly Father from the beginning. All right, that that this will play out. All right, that you know it was going to be a fight against good and evil. All right, uh, um, you know, um, uh, a sinner against the uh, the uh, the godly against a sinner. Okay, so if you want to be the godly, you have to stay spiritual. You have to you can't you can't give in to the devil. But that's what the devil wants you to do. All right, the devil's blessing. All right, Esau, Edom, the wicked. His blessing is a sword. Okay, so as long as you you know uh, stay spiritual and don't fall into the temptation of getting carnal with this devil. All right, you 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 you're gonna win. But that moment that you cross that line and want to get caught on with this devil and and, and and fight and act do the most, even these two thirds, you 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 lost. Okay, the Most High, you know, he may take the spirit from you because he he gonna know that he can't trust you. All right, but that's why you have to be spiritually minded. Okay, you have to be everything that you do has to be spiritual, and it's hard. Like I said, it's hard. So all these things that's going on in this world is just distractions. OK, everything is a distraction to, to, to take you away from this truth, to bring you and pull you back into this world. All right, I got to close out. Um, this is the book of Romans. Romans chapter eight. And verse six, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right. To be carnally minded is death. You, you're, you're like I said, you're 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 going right into the devil's hands. That's death. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither neither indeed can be. So they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. So if you're in the flesh, you're being carnal, you can't please the Most High. All right? The Most High is not, is not dealing with you. Okay? If you're not putting your faith and your trust in him, he, he's really not dealing with you. All right? And faith is a gift. And, and, and your faith can increase and your faith can decrease. All right. As the Lord fits, as, as the Lord, you know, uh, allows. OK, so um, that's all I really had. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Until next time, I say Shalom.